There are several storylines that have been left open-ended and set up for season 2, which has already been accepted by the streaming service of the popular science fiction drama Silo, which just finished its first season with an intense ending. Hugh C. Howey's trilogy of novels, as adapted for the television series by Graham Yost, produced an outstanding first season that served as the ideal springboard for an encore episode. The mind-bending cliffhanger finale was a brilliant piece of science fiction that laid the groundwork for numerous plot lines and character arcs in the upcoming season. So let's explore how the finale sets up some deliciously mysterious pivot points. What is beyond the silo? A contract to leave the silo and clean, which is essentially a death sentence, is pressed upon our tenacious protagonist Juliet Nichols by a power-hungry mayor Bernard Holland and his sidekick Rob Sims. Everyone who has escaped the silo hasn't gotten very far. Actually, they all appear to experience the same outcome as they make their way towards a tree on the peak of a grassy knoll right outside the silo hatch entrance. Those who came before her include the husband and wife duo of Allison Becker and the sheriff that Nichols replaced, Holston Becker, who set everything in motion in the first two episodes of the season by raising questions about the true nature of the silo. Having the finale bookend what the brave couple initiated in the beginning of the series is an appropriate way to go out and set up what will happen to Juliet, who has already made it farther from the hatch than any of her predecessors. Season 2 leaves us with a wide shot of an intrepid woman who may be on the cusp of the truth about the silo. What do the other craters mean for season 2 of Silo? When Juliet reaches the top of the hill, it is revealed to be nothing more than a fabricated representation of lush vegetation, soaring birds, and a lone tree that stands for both life and death. It not only designates the location of Allison and Holston Becker's deaths, but also serves as a symbol of life in that it suggests that things can grow outside the silo. Holland is so shocked when she moves past that point that he yells to Sims, his lieutenant, she knows. He sprints back to the silo control room and throws a switch that either disables the pleasantly fake electronic canvas or is too late, and Juliet breaks through the program walls to get a glimpse of the real world that exists outside the silo. It's very Matrix Y in that way. What she sees is a planet's surface that is littered with craters similar to the one she just emerged from. This revelation will be another storyline that will undoubtedly be addressed in Season 2. The city skyline on the distant horizon in Silo, you might not have noticed it the first time, but if you view the last shot again, you'll notice that in addition to the craters that are dispersed around the surface, you can also make out a city skyline in the distance that is shrouded in haze. Now, this is something more that the showrunners plan to investigate in Season 2. Is it a post-apocalyptic metropolis in ruins, or does it coexist with the numerous silos and a vibrant above-ground society? It's challenging to comprehend the seemingly limitless options presented in the cliffhanger final scene because so many possibilities are raised there. Whether they are even populated at all will be one question, and another storyline that bears examination in season two, is are humans the only species on the planet?